Woo! What in the hell? We got Mr. Dickinson coming up versus Jacko. We got a DLC match here Dude. with Coach Steve Man, versus Jacko. I will say this right out. I have so no idea how this matchup's gonna go. <laughs> okay, so the the thing with Gold Lewis Dickinson, if you've never seen him before, is this character is feast or famine. When he yep. hits you, the round ends automatically. But getting the hit can be very tricky. If Jacko gets a couple uh, a couple of the goons lined up. It can be very difficult for Gold Lewis to even exist in neutral. So it's going to be on Coach Steve. We need a big jump in, a big read. We need to show him what happens in this Behemoth Typhoon. Oh my God! Just in like this that. Behemoth Typhoon off the rip, and oh my God, goes for the low one. Kids, look at that damage already in the corner. Goes for the overhead one. Keeps the pressure up. This is how you do it. Gets in on the other side because of the full swing in this Behemoth Typhoon. And that is what I was saying. If Coach, get started. If Gold Lewis touches you, the round just ends. Burst be damned, RC be damned. You cannot let him get to you. Absolutely insane. And that's one of the best ways to deal with the character who's set play based like Jacko. She's got to trip you up a bunch. You also have your drone. You don't even need it. He's just swinging, baby. He's just swinging, and Jacko can't do a damn thing about it. Let's get for the jump in. Good. Okay. Nitro starting to get that set play rolling. Very nice. The minions chasing after. And that's an important note here. Pulling a minion and jumping can actually improve the frame data on uh, on Jackal very heavily. Uh, speaking of that minion, there's the drone coming in from Gold Lewis as well. You have to respect that on approach. That's one of his few safe approach tools. Oh, good job getting the instant hit out there because if you never RC there, you're getting hit by the back hit of Behemoth. There are two out there. There's nowhere for Gold Lewis to go. Oh, doesn't matter. Still gets with the Typhoon. He's going to use the rest of his security gauge to kill the meter from Nitro. Just had to FD not to get chipped. And here comes a super. Is it close enough? He oh, my God. Whiff punish? The whiff punish there from Coach? My man really decided that Leo wasn't doing it. So he just decided to come out here Dude. and smack some people up just with the Behemoth Typhoon. Absolutely that crazy. That whiff punish was something else. This is a character that Coach Steve plays quite often on his own stream. Uh, is very well practiced in the character. Dude, seeing the way that he's making this work, especially against Jacko and a player like Nitro, even. I mean, these are two homies, obviously. But play, like we said, playing on the playing in on the DLC matchup. One. I mean, look, this is a coach character through and through. We all know it when we saw it. And now immediately starting up the round trade with that. You know what? Not Don't let Jacko get those minions set up. Put your own drone out there. Try and get that security level up as it's continuing to climb here. This is going to be pretty rough for Nitro to feel throughout the match. Look how far that bar already is. Yeah, and he's just able to dominate so much of that aerial space. You wouldn't think that the big man has, uh, has ups like he does, but the jump in buttons from Coach Steve can be so oppressive. Nitro, no! The minion wasn't close enough, but he's still okay. Yeah, it's almost getting another whip punish, like you said before. Bursting out of there, not trying to have any of this. I like the continued usage of making sure the drone is out so you can walk up. You don't have the best approach tools overall. You need to get in. Gets the immediate Kavarsi into the grab. Pushes him back in the corner. This, this could be a round closer right here. There it is. He's going to get the conversion into the wall. Yeah, lots of good damage there. Really, really love to see that. So Nitro... Taking the claim, getting an early lead on this one. And that is really, well, like I said, a, a, this, the Gold Lewis conundrum. Feast and Famine. That matchup was all Jacko. And just like this, another knockdown. And Coach is going to have to guess. But Nitro actually mistimes his stuff and lets him up. That is bad. so bad. Oh, my goodness. How you all block that? How you all block that, my friend? He's got it. That's so difficult to do it, especially as a big boy like that. If you're saying the set play is so good on Jacko in this matchup, but the minions away calls it back. Very smart. Not trying to let you guys die for free. You want that minion to beat it back. Ooh, he used the super to buff the minions, but all the minions have already been destroyed. So Coach, again, coming out on top of that. Here we go. Just dealing with that corner pressure. After being out, he has plenty of meter, so I don't disagree with that at all. But he is currently down very heavy on this. Like, you were saying before, piece of damage. Getting that one hit is huge. But finding that one hit is incredibly difficult. As we saw Nitro shut that down. Yeah, that was really, really difficult to deal with there. Nitro finally able to lock it down. I mean, Coach did a good job of making sure the minions weren't established in neutral, but Nitro landed that final round. Nitro whiff punished a standing slash with 2D, pulled a minion, and the round just ended. Like the amount of the amount of damage that and the pressure that Jacko gets off of one big whiff punish can just be like 
like I don't know what Gold Lewis can really do to deal with it. You know, it's it's the classic conundrum, like you said before. Just don't get hit. The best way for Gold Lewis to deal with Jacko pressure is to not get pressured. <laughs> like, yeah. Which is so difficult to do it because you've got not one, not two, but three characters on the screen at a time just trying to ruin your life. As you see here, minions coming through, the pressure, the lows, the stagger, it's just so difficult to deal with the character who doesn't have the best get off the ground option. That's the super cool wall break. Did it get the same jump? Possibly go for the OP setup? Hey, this is just. Now that after that first round where Coach was able to kind of cruise, it seems like Metro is starting to make the adjustment. Hey, 2K, 2D, really nice from Coach there. Kept it same side. Comes a little vortex. Tries to go for the instant overhead, gets him low once again. Oh, but let's Jacko get away there. There's a nice trade, but still, Jacko has room to breathe, and that's not what you want here for Coach. Very nice on the 6 -piece. Oh my goodness, and now he's still got first available. He's gonna use it here, deciding not to let the round go. He's gonna go for the full zoning. No goes for the jump in, keeps the pressure on, but he gets anti-eared out. Got chip at the factor here. He's gonna buff the minion and the minion, the attack command. Oh, it oh finally God. actually gets the kill. Coach Steve couldn't swing a button fast enough. Man, straight up just sent in the punching bag to take the hits. And what that? What a what great kill! What great kill! Just go ahead and fight for mom like that. Now good blocks on the lows. Not trying to get set up for Oki once again. Immediately jumping in twice, three times. Coach just kind of running up, not trying to show any fear. Established dominance, but again, I mean, you can run up all you want, but if you're constantly getting blocked up by Nitro, that's the hard part. But with control of the corner, we could see Steve possibly get around here. Oh, missed a huge confirm there, though. Should be able to kill off of this. Yeah, absolutely. Spiking him into the ground there. Coach Steve with a clean conversion. That can be very tough. Gold Loose is a character that obviously gets a huge amount of reward when he gets the hit, but the conversions are incredibly difficult. The execution required for this character is very high. Absolutely. Oh, there's the throw. Gonna be forced into. Oh my god. Both sides covered. Now you gotta get forced in the corner. You gotta do it. Oh, sliding low. Where are you gonna go? Oh, you weren't in the corner, baby. You went on the other side. He's amazing. Awesome from Nitro. Keeping it mixed up. That. All right. That looks funny as hell. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> get some multiple hits. Really good. Get back away. Oh no. And this actually should be enough here from Nitro with the spacing and the attack minions coming. Yeah, I don't know what Coach really can do here. I don't, I don't know because he was, oh, there we go. He gets himself back to gold burst. Uh, speaking of which, coming through. Oh, he's gonna go for supers. Does that punish it? No, but it does push him back. However, that's not really what you want as gold Lewis here as you get hit by the minion on the other side. Yeah, really, really tough decisions there. I mean, a coach again had to kind of go for something. The super was a good idea. But unfortunately, Nitro, once again, the Jacko pressure a little too much. Once the minions are out, coach kind of having trouble here. And, that, and it, a lot of it is tough, too, in that uh, he's not being able to abuse the low jump as much as you would like to see from Gold Lewis, just because Jacko, once she has minions out, can kind of anti-air him pretty, uh, with not a lot of risk, I would say. Yeah, true enough. And I, I mean, in, in your view, what does Coach Steve need to do to possibly run back in this match? Because it's just looking like all of his options are covered on OG pretty much every time. He can't, outside of using FD, there's really not much he can do. Yeah, it's just, it's all about, the matchup on paper is just all about making sure the minions don't actually spawn. So once this situation comes up, just stem the bleeding as best you can, kill the minions as fast as possible, or try and time them out. But just, it's mostly about, just like that, breaking the minions as they come out. But even then, how can you deal with Jacko herself? Yeah, and you only have so much yellow RC to use throughout the set to be able to break those minions on Wake Up. And now he's going to use Red RC to get in. He's got a decent amount of conversion that he can get for this. Tries to beat the burst, but instead decides to go for it. Anyways, good job getting out of there. Now he's forced in his corner, and you already know how bad this is going to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two up too close and personal. Some of those minigun. Extra damage down. It gets the run up. No follow-up, though. Good back dash from Nitro. And he bumps the one minion. Oh my god, what, what, what do you do? What, what do you do? Yeah, you do nothing. Attack command. Using the attack command to such great effect there. Coach killing both now. I mean, that was incredible by Coach to even get out of there. I would have just expected him to be done. Big, big block stun damage. And that is him taking the round. Coach is built different. Okay. Gotta look for another hit here. The jump, the, the, the button on the way down from Nitro. So smart. And Coach is doing a better job of anti airing, stopping the minions again preemptively. That's the most important part. But Nitro gets another jump in throw. Oh my 
right, guys. Oh, big throw coming in from Steve as well. Goes for the lows. Continues to keep the pressure up. I don't disagree with that verse whatsoever. You're already down so low, and you need to back Steve up. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's blocked that. Looks like he walked back. No! He gets that. He does big damage for Steve. Yeah, able to get him out of the anti, uh, out of the back dash rather. Trying to go for one more hit. Coach Steve, anything will do it, and still has a burst available. I would expect to see him burst this round. Yeah, I think we're going to be seeing the burst relatively soon. Yeah, there it is. But it doesn't do enough to get him out. He does do the jump in, and that jump in finds the air to air trade. And Steve isn't done just yet. We get to see more of Mr. Dickinson as we go into the last round of this loser's top eight match. Yeah, and that's the craziest thing to think about. Coach Steve and Nitro, loser's bracket match, man. These two guys, a threat to win any tournament that they're entered in, fighting it out in the loser's bracket. Now, Coach bringing out the Gold Lewis in the final moments, man. This is oh, final game. Final game on the board. Who is the better DLC here in this match? We already know which one it is, but Coach Steve trying to make it look like it is not Man. Jacko, after all. Dual Here we go into the last game. Honestly, bro, Proxy, the set has been stupid. I, I don't know how Coach has gotten out of most of these uh, setups, but I'm here for it. Like this one? Oh, PK, he finally gets hit. Okay, able to go for the jump over. Still fighting the minions. Well, gets the punish there. Oh, and dude, the re-jump. Pressure with the low. Try to get it with the behemoth typhoon, but the great jump in anti-air. Oh, Nitro gets the burst and more. Excellent job ending that burst. Now, if you keep this up, oh, goes for the goes for the side switch to try and keep him in the corner, but he actually doesn't capitalize. So now Steve actually walks away. Okay, him down. Okay, the drone actually connecting. Still looking Jobs good. Going. Almost, almost catch him the uh, He goes for a couple lows. I wouldn't be surprised to see that overhead coming in pretty soon, but Steve might not get the chance. Still alive. Has RC, BRC forward. Yes, oh, he does, it and it works. And he gets the anti Great oh. call on your part, recognizing that he was going to go for the jump in. Blue RC coming in for it, getting the anti here, like you said, and that is Steve stealing that round away. Oh, with the throw, though. There's the punish. Nitro going to work here. The minions are available. Trying to box him out, putting up the Behemoth Typhoon to just try and keep Nitro grounded. Nitro still has burst on deck, so it's not like he's out of this game by any means. Gets big hits off of the minion, gets a wall break stick. No, actually doesn't, keeps him stuck here. Tries to go for it, hits the reversal throw, and now it is Steve's turn to play. He gets him on the anti air. Yeah, missed his opportunity though. Try to go for the 2H, looking for the air throw. Also, Nitro answers straight back. Oh, and the high low game with the minion in hand is a little too tough. Final round going into game five. Both with first on deck. We could see someone go for all the meter. I think we're gonna hold on to the pressure. Steve's probably gonna be bursting pretty soon. Good job to stay still, but he gets caught. Does get walked to the corner. I agree. Burst out of there. Get that minion up. You have plenty of meter now because of that. Let's see what he can do with it. Okay, so we can get aggressive security meter a little above half here. What can you really get? Okay, goes for the jump in 6P and he converts it off of it because of the minion. Oh, gets hit by the low. You have to watch out for the high low mix up again. But this is, like you said before, this is by no means whatsoever. But not undoable for Steve because, oh, if he gets hit like that, though, it will be. Oh no, and he had the meter. He has to floating 200 meter here, but the minions, the minions actually win it out. Nitro. Oh, it's really, really tough. Coach Steve putting up a great fight, but Nitro showing why the matchup can be so difficult.